can to, to decide on the, um, the use that will keep his replacements for breeding. This is Nasha. Um, she uh, is from our original eight that we had. Um, she's a, uh, a Texel cross. She'll be kept um, as a, a breeding ewe to replace um, her mum Biter um, because she she was um, one of the originals and unfortunately she, she could no longer breed. Um, so we've kept her back this year. Different factors for, for having to sell those ewes are things like mastitis, which is um, uh, an infection in the, um, in the udder that prevents the from being able to feed the lambs properly. Problems with their teeth as well, and they lose a lot of their teeth, and they're unable to, you know, graze properly, eat properly. That's another factor that comes in having to sell sell the ewes when they're older, um, and um, even things to like when they're lame um, and they they need treatment. There's only so much treatment we can give, um, and problems with lambing. If they have problems with uh, the actual lambing process, if they, they prolapse or if they're, they're sort of having problems each year, then you start to sort of think, well, maybe it's time to, um, to move them on. Some people refer to these as hoggets or gimmers or thaves. Um, and they're, they're lambs basically in their first year. Um, then they'll go on to um, uh, the breeding or the stall lambs to, to be sold to the butcher um, or go on to, to other farms um, once we've decided who, who we're going to keep. We definitely like to keep some of our um, blue texel ewe lambs this year. Um, they're this nice, um, this nice colour and they, they generally really nice shapes. Um, and this, this is bred in from um, having our blue texel rams. Um, and they'll be the, the lambs crossed with our um, Texel ewes. So they're really, really good mothers and they produce a really nice lamb. So they're beginning to get a little bit warm now with the um, the temperatures we've been having so the lambs will always be uh, the first ones that will shear um, so um, in a month, a month or so's time they'll be they'll be sheared it's good practice to keep them in these smaller paddocks um, and move them every three weeks with a, a good uh, worming program to to prevent them from um, you know leaving anything behind really the um, youngest lamb that we we have uh, she was born later in the year last year um, so these are the um, the lamb's teeth as they call them that are still still their um, their first set of teeth if you like that they they have what we call the broad teeth um, they haven't come through yet and actually um, on the roof of a of a, a sheep's mouth they they don't have any teeth at all um on the top it's just a hard this hard palate um which um which will sort of harden as as they get older